Hey everybody, it is Raquel with Happy Healthy and Free, and today I wanted to bring you a video of my 10 New Year's resolutions for 2022. It is coming to be a new year where we think about some resolutions and reflect back on 2021 on some things that really worked for us and went well, and maybe our resolutions are to continue those things or maybe tweak some things a little bit and get some new goals going. So I wanted to share with you what I plan on doing for 2022 to hopefully maybe inspire you. And then of course, I would love to know what your New Year's resolutions are. So make sure that you comment those down below. So number one, I want to pray more and often. So 2022, I'm going to make it more of a point to pray for friends, for family, for strangers that I just see, to pray for the little minute things in my life that I may think are too small for God, but there is nothing too small for him. I want to bring it all to him and just let go and let God this upcoming year. Number two is to read my Bible more. So 2021, I really dove deep into studying my Bible. Instead of just picking a verse here and there, I really went in depth into a lot of different verses. And I wanna to continue to do that in 2022 using the sunshine method, which is a fairly new method that I saw on TikTok. If you're interested about learning more about the sunshine method for Bible studying, uh, comment down below, let me know, and I can definitely make a separate video for that. Number three, I want to spend at least 30 minutes a day outside. Being outside is just so good for our health, for our emotion, our overall well-being. Whether it's praying outside, sitting, reading a book, walking, wandering around my front yard, whatever it might be, I just want to make it a point to be outside for at least 30 minutes a day. Number four is no spend January. So I'm going to kick this year off with a bang and start the very first month with a no spend month. Of course, my regular bills, uh, my mortgage, utilities, those are going to still come out. Uh, they're on auto pay, but anything outside of that, random purchases from Amazon or when I'm just wandering around at the store, adding and picking up extra things that I don't need, um, but maybe I just want not buying anything for the month of January. Number five, I plan on reading one book a month. So I'm not really a big reader, but I found out a few years ago that I have an astigmatism, and that's probably why when I did read, things got blurry, my eyes started to burn. So now that I have reading glasses, I find reading a lot more enjoyable. I have a lot of books on my bookshelf, and when I say a lot, a lot to me is like seven books on my bookshelf that I have not read that I have. So I want to make it a point to read one book a month before purchasing or checking out at the library any new books. And I do want to mention, if you're going to buy a book off of Amazon, always look for the used ones. Even if they're the same price, I feel like it's still worth it because we're not producing a new item out there. We're reusing something that already exists, which I think is pretty cool. Number six. So for Christmas, my husband got me a new bike. I'm so excited about it. I love biking. I have a, a, a knee issue. One of my knees is not very good. So biking is really easy on my knees. I want to bike or work out at least twice a week. I don't want to pressure myself too much to overexert myself. I do work from home sitting in this computer chair for majority of the day. So just making it a point to get outside and bike or walk, or even if it's indoors doing an inside workout, uh, I want to do that at least twice a week this coming year. Number seven, donate and or volunteer. So I've looked into so many different things that are happening just in my area and there's so many opportunities to get involved in my community and do things that are going to make my area a better place. So I really want to be able to get involved and get my kids involved and really make it a, a family endeavor for us to get involved and I'm saying involved a lot. Sorry about that. But let's get together and really make a difference out there in the world. I think it's going to be extremely rewarding and really help a lot of people. Number eight, create one YouTube video a week and one TikTok video a week. I don't want to overwhelm myself and set a goal that is too difficult or unrealistic for my lifestyle being a mom that works full time. 
um, but I want to make sure that I'm getting good content out to you guys. I have a lot of things to share and so I want to share it. I've already sat down and taken time to get the next three videos planned out, so I'm excited to be releasing those. So if you haven't already, hit that like button and hit that subscribe because there's some good stuff coming up. Number nine, grow my nails. This seems to be on every New Year's resolution for me and I have yet to grow my nails. So I am going to take my number one, pray about letting me not pick my nails, Lord, and just help me grow them and pray for those little things in life that you don't really think to pray about. And also I have this, um, this ball that I got my kids. I got them a few of these squishy balls. I'm going to keep this one at my desk. That way, when I feel the want to pick up my nails, I squeeze this instead. And it's also really fun. And number 10 is to pay off any remaining debt that we have. We uh, have been renovating our home. We completely renovated our kitchen, our bathroom, uh, my in-law suite in our basement. They're renting our basement from us. And we're also in the middle of renovating the kitchen in our basement for them. So we have accumulated some debt. Luckily, we had some money saved. But as far as the lingering debt that we still have, Goal for 2022 is to get all that paid off so we can continue to build up our nest egg. So that does it, guys. That's my 10 New Year's resolutions. Let me know what yours are down below. I pray that you, your family, and friends are happy, healthy, safe, and free. God bless, guys. Bye.